Hello everyone, and my name is Coffee Addict, and today I will be playing Gene Forge. So, in this game, it is a RPG. It was made in 2001, and it's honestly one of my favorite games in the world. So, we're just gonna start off with the Guardian. Each one of these characters do something different, and there's three different paths, so for each path, we'll try a different character. But we're going to do um, this one first, since I'm very familiar with this one. So first thing we want to do is get all the important items equal. Because I like to do that kind of stuff. So then we're going to get these two up. We're going to get mechanics up, because that's important to have. And we're going to have quick action. Alright. Now, let's do this. The Shapers are the oldest, most respected, most secretive, and most powerful of the magic sects. The Shapers have the power to magically create life. The Shapers can make new life forms and from nothing but raw materials and pure magic. They can mold this life to serve their purpose, be it lighthouse work or major warfare. The Shapers guard their, the secrets of their powers very closely. To learn of their techniques without permission is to court a speedy death at the hands of a guardian in the day or an agent in the night. After years of work, study, and testing, you have finally been accepted into the Shapers. You will stand, spend your life advancing their will and dwelling into their secrets and powers. However, none of those secrets have been shared with you yet. First, you must complete your apprenticeship. You must spend five years out in a Shaper culinary on a remote island, watching their work and aiding their research. After a brief welcoming ceremony and a last night's celebration, you don your traditional gar garments and board your craft to the remote islands. The journey is two weeks long. You travel on a living craft, a specially modified drake, drake, which will carry you through rough seas to your destination. After a week's journey, you pass close to a small chain of islands. You consult your chart and find that one of them is named Suka Island. It is marked in your chart as Bard. Shapers declare places barred for a variety of reasons. Experiments gone wrong, dangerous accidents, valuable secrets. Whatever the reason, any outsider in a barred place is punished with, with instant death. Curious, you stand on the edge of your craft, ca carefully watching Suka Island, wondering what secrets lie there. As you watch, you fail to notice a sailing ship dead ahead of you off to the southeast coast of the island. Your craft cries out an alarm, alerting you to the danger. It is a strange ship of a style you have never seen before. This is why you don't recognize the weapon on its prow. It fires a long spear at your craft. The razor-sharp bolt strikes your drake in the neck. It roars in anger and breathes a bolt of fire at your attacker. It strikes the sails, which set them alight. The battle takes only seconds. Your living craft flounders, mortally wounded, dropping you to the water. Your goods and tools sink into the depths. You attempt to swim to the surface. You barely notice that the ship which attacked you is aflame and having extreme difficulty. Your whole being is consumed with the struggle to reach the shore. Your strength is not enough. You start to sink, but with one less effort, your living craft assists you. Bleeding from its neck, rapidly dying, it manages to lift you with its head and carry you to a crumbling dock. Then it dies, it sinks away. You are left alone, abandoned, on this forbidden shore. You are alone on Suka Island. Alright, and that it starts. Didn't know why I wasn't starting before. Alright, so, this is my character, this is my inventory, these are my party members, this is some other stuff we'll get that aren't really important, this is Toggle's fight, uh, this is like, instructions, which we're not going to look at, that changes how my formation is, this is my record, so it's like any interesting stuff I can find, special items, and quests. This is allowing me to pick, uh, this button lets me pick stuff up. I can just press G. Along with fighting, I can just press F. This allows me to create monsters later on, and this just kind of gives some flavor text. Uh, and anything white here are just like little observations that are not enough for those big, big things. So this is G Forge. Okay, let's do this. You stagger off the dock, weakened to the point of collapse by your desperate swim here. After a few minutes, you're, you're, managed, you're managed to gain enough of your senses to look around. 
You are on the south coast of the island you saw before your craft was slain. However, apart from the fact that the island was declared barred by your people, you know nothing about it. The structures around you are ruined and crumbling. You would guess that they have been abandoned for at least a century. Probably two. Islands are generally barred because of a failed experiment in the presence of horrible rogue creatures. Fortunately, except for the lapping waters on the base of the dock, all is quiet. If you're going to be devoured, it won't be soon. However, you're still staring at stranded here, and desperately weak as well. Fortunately, the beast stretches off to the east. Maybe there is something use useful there. Alright. So, most important thing in all RPGs, look in every container you can. Uh, I won't pick up, like, trash and stuff, because obviously you can't really sell that kind of stuff. I uh, won't be picking up extra weapons to sell, because you have a um, you have a limit of how much weight you can carry, and that's just annoying to carry around stuff you're not going to sell, and all that fun stuff. There is a tunnel to the north, built into the side of the hill. Your guess is that it was a storeroom, a warehouse. Usually one is placed near the docks of the settlement. After all these years, most of the goods inside are probably useless. You might be able to scavenge something useful, though. Right, and we go. So, map scrolling. Um... Just fun stuff. Uh, this game has been a part of my life for ever since I was a very small child. Um, I played this all the time when I was young. Let's pick that up. Um, I've never reached the end of it. Not even on my own personal playthrough. I've never ever uh, reached the end of this game. So maybe we can together. Inside this small chamber, you find several contains. Cerenical containers, oh dear god. They look like canisters, each a little over a foot high. The sides are made of, a th of thick, carefully blown glass. Most of them have been broken, and the continents are long lost. One of them, however, is still intact. Inside you see a glowing fluid. It swirls and moves about, seemingly under its own power. It looks like it is, in its own way, alive. It probably is. You've never seen anything exactly like this before, but you've seen similar objects. The shapers can contain... Fluids filled with life energy which heal or energize those in need. This must be something like that. There's a small section of fragile glass at the top. If you break it with the palm of your hand, the substance will come forth and energize you. In your weakened state, it seems hard to resist. So, let's click that. Alright, there's an office to the west. The shelves on the wall have no nothing on them but dust. The box in the corner, however, might contain something useful. Uh, that cloak looks useful. That is a weapon. Well, armor, really. The box contains a variety of papers. You rifle through them eagerly, hoping for a clue as to where you are or what might have caused this island to be barred. It is no use. The papers crumble at your touch. Beneath the papers, though, you find something interesting. It is a brass key, none from a worse of wear for its long concealment. You take it. Alright, now we got a key. Ruined Doc's key. So let's head over here. But, uh, yeah, like I said, I've played this game a lot on my own. Um, never reached the end of it, so together we will try to do that. And I will be taking a somewhat neutral run. I'll be just kind of doing how I personally would react to all this. You stumble a bit. You feel a bit woozy. It is not caused by hunger, though. By the effects of the strange substance in that canister. The stuff didn't heal or revive you like you expected. It changed you. It's like it soaked into your skin and rewoke some of your very being, making you stronger. You take a minute to experiment. You extend your fingers and focus. Tiny trails of flame come out of them. You can work magic. You weren't able to before. Your training would not have reached that point for years. It is exhilarating and, at the same time, terrifying. This is completely unknown magic, alien to you. It seemed like it was made by your people, but you have no idea what they could have done something so wonderful. You feel deep within yourself, an eagerness to find more of the cancers and see what they can do. Alright, so, basically that was just saying that is how you get your new abilities. So, when we level up, we don't get those special, like, double jump or anything. You have to find these canisters and learn from them. But they change you, so, should you be doing that? Uh, that's like a health pod, that, that's called a health pod, so it's like a health, health potion. Those are the most important things to pick up all the time. Pick them up all the time.
uh, we're gonna pick up some thorns too, because later we get introduced to these like things called battens, and the thorns aren't that heavy to carry, and the battens aren't that heavy to carry, and they're really nice for projectiles. So we're gonna keep that. Uh, oh, dagger, so I can finally have a weapon, and then my character carries it around. Cool. Uh, we already have a tunic, so we're gonna take that shield. Alright, so key unlock that, let's head on. This was probably the barracks of some guardians or agents. There isn't mu isn't much left, but, and the beds are ruined. It's starting to look like whoever was here left very quickly. A bunch of stuff was left behind. Uh, Alright, let's see what's in here. Another tunic, don't need that. Uh, more javelins, we'll take those just in case. Just important to have ranged weapons on you, uh, since he, as guardians you're not that good as ma at magic, so very... Oh, I n actually didn't know that, that's cool. So you can actually see all that stuff if you press tabs. Tabs? Tab. Alright, off we go. Had to go search more containers. Now that I thought, good. Alright. I'll have more to talk about later on. Right now this is just like the tutorial, and tutorials are never fun. Though, right over near this bush, we can get no thorns. Never mind, ignore me. Alright. You immediately recognize where you are now. It was an inn where visitors and travelers could stop for steaks, drinks, and sleep. The crumbling roasting pit still dominates the center of the room. You're getting confused. Why is there so much here? Most I most islands are barred because of experiments gone awry, and most of the experiments are performed in, by very small groups in crude quarters, far from society. Yet you've seen warehouses, guard posts, and now an inn. At one point, a lot of shapers lived here. Now they're all gone. Why? What could have driven so many people off? And what took their place? Alright, off we go. Let's go search and see if people left some more shit behind. Uh, there's a lever there. Um, got a belt and ropes. Better than my fine cloak. One armor, I think. Put on the belt right away. Though. Yeah, so rope is better than cloak. Let's drop the cloak. And now this is open because I touched that lever over there. Nothing in that. But there's some health pods in here. Awesome. Alright, let's go check out over here then. Uh, so, yeah, this is just a very old game. Graphics are not something to be impressed by. Looking to the north, you can see that you're not alone on the island. Though you are worried about some horrible creatures and mutations, the first life you encounter is nowhere near so terrifying. It's a flock of orns. The orange is a shaper creation. It is a slow, clumsy livestock animal, hardy and laden with meat. Shapers created them to stock areas and unfriendly to non-created animals, such as apparently this one. You notice that these orcs have large tusks, probably added by the shapers to protect them from predators. Fortunately, they are likely to leave you alone if you leave them alone. So they're just basically like cows and pigs, I'm guessing. And they have the most annoying type of uh, sound effect. <coughs> The munching gets to me. Oh my god, they're fucking blocking me. Uh, so, YouTube is just something... I was definitely inspired by my favorite YouTuber, uh, Markiplier, to start this. I'll be quite honest with that. Um, my girlfriend tells me a lot that I'm similar to him and that I should try this out. And I'm hoping that by doing this, I can really expand who I am. And if I can, it'd be really awesome to really see where I could take this. Um, because I always have been thought of myself as an entertainer. I am not one for public speaking by choice. I prefer to know what I'm talking about and then just talk about that. Um, and 
this I know about, so that's probably uh, why I chose this for my first playthrough. Oh, gemstone. Okay, that is the only random item I'll pick up because those are really nice to find, and they're also they also sell at a rather high price. So, uh, these blue areas means you can uh, zone barrier, so you can go. Uh, so green areas, you clear them. You can see right up here it says green is clear, so you can just pass right through them if you ever have to go to them. So like you move around the map, and more green things means the further you can go without tramping through them again. Uh, red areas means you haven't found a way to clear them, and you can't just pass through them. You have to walk through them physically. So like you're brought to them, no matter how much of the map you've discovered. Maybe that's a condition for it, but there's a lot of different things on how you can clear them. Uh, areas. You immediately recognize this large building for what it is. This was a shaping hall. You knew that there must be one of them on the island somewhere. Here, the shapers on the island did their work using magic and force of will to make creations, both established and experimental designs. If there was a cataclysm, though, it didn't take place here. The building is undamaged. To the side, you can see energizing pools. Holes in the ceiling allow light to shine on them. Remarkably, despite their years of neglect, they have survived. The goo inside of a pool is a semi-living, plant-like form capable of drawing energy into the air and the sun. Uh, from the air and the sun. You stand near a pool, you'll probably you'll be able to replenish your health or essence depending on which pool you use. In the corners of the hall, you can see two glowing glass canisters. They they wait there, ready to give you power. Alright, so our health uh, magic in essence is all fine, so we're just going to go right to these and use them. I'm not going to read these books. Uh, I'm not going to read this book or any of the other books in this area because, again, it's just a, t a tutorial right now. Um, and let's see, I already have a dagger, so no use for that. Let's go over here. Uh, so I got create a Fura and a Heal. So Heal is very important later on. So let's make Fura. And here it is. Here's our buddy. We're going to call him Coffee Bean. So we're going to rename to Coffee Bean. Alright, and Coffee Bean's going to be our little pal, but right now he doesn't have a lot of intelligence. So if we ever get into a fight, I won't be able to control him. You can only do that if you have two intelligence in there. Um, now, what's really cool about this, okay, so see, statistics is where you can level up. See abilities is just like, here's all the stuff you can do. Just find all your uh, those canisters, and you'll be able to do those more. You might be able to create better creatures and all that fun stuff. Um, I think this is a dead end, so I'm just going to go to the end of it and see. Uh, I can only click in areas I are like gray right, right here. I can't click in the black. Black is unclickable because you may just be trying to cross over a barrier, and that's not possible. Um, so yeah, these things can actually evolve too, so when I level up, I can get more, like, essence, which was that blue bar, and all my essence is in Coffee Bean right now. So that means I can't create new creatures, I can't use any other spells, because I have no more essence. There's two things that are needed to do spells, which is kind of stupid, I think, but it's a game. Makes it more difficult. Whatever. You find a sign that the evacuation of the island was not completely horrible. There's a body here. It's barely more than a skeleton. It's been here for a long time. Based on its garments, you think it was a shaper. The shapers have here have made their shape and their supplies to last. It looks like some of the stuff on the corpse is still useful. So let's search the body. Got the robe. Got the tunic. Got the dagger. Healing spores is basically just like a AOE heal. So like it heals everyone around you. Um, so. As a guardian, they'll tell you right down here soon enough. Like right here. Yeah, first battles. What type of creature you picked? Shaper, you want to make at least one fewer to help you. Uh, so basically, it's just, that just tells you like how to fight. I already know how to fight as them. Guardians, you, they say make one creature, have that creature with you forever. Unless you want to just absorb it and stuff. Um, and we're going to save the game as soon as I get up here. There's a Fura standing on the path ahead. It is very similar to the sort of creation. Uh, similar, familiar sort of creature, uh, creations. Shapers have made them for centuries to serve as bodyguards, watchdogs, and even pets. You've spent around hundreds of them. This one, however, is different from any Fura you've ever seen. It doesn't have that usual expression of servility 
and obedience. It doesn't look as you know as master, but but as food. You've heard of tales of creations that have turned on their creators and gone rogue, but it was almost never actually happened. If it ever did, the rogue creation would be instantly destroyed. This viewer has definitely shed any shape or control. It bears its teeth at you, seemingly daring you to step forward. Okay, we're gonna save here though. So we're gonna save right over here. And let's fight. Alright. Now I have javelins, so I can pick those up and put those in my hand. See so you have these AP points, so action points. You can only do so many. You have to have at least five to attack. And four if you want to use an item, which is the ice crystals. I forgot to explain those. That, since I'm a, uh, I'm guardian, those are very important to me, because that basically lets me do magic for free. Uh, but since I'm far away, and it's important to be far away from these things, I'm just going to throw a javelin. I have at least five points, and I'm just going to throw it, and it's dead. My Fiora's just running around because I can't control him. And he ran off. Alright. Uh, moving takes action points. You usually want to try and stay in range, uh, so you can still use, like, still attack if you can, uh, with your action points afterwards, and just basically don't get yourself into a situation where you're just like, I can't do anything, and then you're going to get a bunch of things pile up, pile up on you, and when you save, that is the only save. <laughs> no, great. Um, it doesn't save for you, so you screw up. It's your fault. You're gonna go back to back to where you saved. And I've had more than one time that I that I've saved a very long time. Got pretty far. That is a very long range. I did not expect that to work. Um, I, there's been more than a few times that I didn't save for a very long time, and then I died, and then I quit playing the game for an hour or more. All right. So I don't think I can. I see this guy. No, I see him. Okay. So, sometimes you don't see them, and you can't attack them, and if that happens, you have to move, but if you see them, they can see you too. So, that's not fun. So, just keep on moving. Check in here. I think this is, yeah, this is, that's just notes on combat. We don't need that. That's a tutorial. I'm an expert at this game. I'm gonna die so many times. Alright, let's keep going then. There's... Yeah, there's more fights. The range on this is absolutely astounding. I did not expect that type of range. Alright, and here is what I wanted when I was talking about Thorn Battens. I'll explain. There, this was a storage warehouse. Well, it still is. But now, instead of housing useful materials, it holds moldering trash. The stacks of meal in the corner, for example, have not been treated well by the years here. On your counter to the west, however, you see something which looks very useful. There are several thorn battens, one of which looks like it's still alive. Thorn battens are one of the Shaper's most ingenious creations. You'll hear that a lot, by the way. There are, they are a mix of living and inert matter, plants with a touch of animal around a frame of metal capable of firing a small, sharp projectile at high velocity. When unused, they go into hibernation and can live for a long time. Most of the battens abandoned in this room have died, but one has managed to survive. So, we're gonna take it. Because it's a lot, la a lot lighter than javelins, we're gonna use those up, and maybe pick them up whenever I can. Um, but, it's better to carry these around so you can forfeit the javelins for something much lighter and much, e much easier to wield. I think there's just trash back here. Oh, there's absolutely nothing back here. Never mind. Alright. Nope. Oh, there we go. That's such a, that's such a disgusting range. Alright, so see that little X near my hand? I cannot see the target, so I have to go here and throw. And we're dead. We're not dead. That thing's dead. Uh, up here. Nothing. Let's go in here. And let's head in. Alright, what's here? Uh, boots. That's better than my sandals. So let's go down to the boots. Let's drop the sandals. And 
of War Thorns. Awesome. Uh, I don't think there's anything here. People wishing to pass through quarantine, you originally signed in here before waiting for infection. None of the names are legible anymore, and the pages crumble at your touch. Yada yada yada, same old thing. Been here for thousands, like 200 years or something. Alright, now, for an actual conversation. This was the quarantine waiting hall. People wishing to enter Lusuka Island through this port waited here to be questioned and expected by the servant mind. And sure enough, the mind is still here, resting to the north. You marvel at the skill of the shapers who made these remarkable creatures. Their careful construction and ability to hibernate gave them remarkable lifespans. It is still alive. A servant mind is a very specialized sort, uh, and useful sort of creature. When it's grown, it never moves again. It spends its life in a stone crib, made to fit it. Once there, it spends a its entire life thinking, remembering, analyzing, and advising the shapers. As you approach, you can see the creature struggles to rouse itself from its slumber. It seems likely it is eager for company after its years here. Alright, they are not beautiful creatures. They are very ugly. Alright, you carefully approach the servant mind, unsure of how its tongue alone in these ruins have affected its faculties. Fortunately, its eyes are clear and bright, and the body appears whole. It has the massive skull characteristic of these strange characters. Creations. Creations. Well, my shaper, I am mine to it, it says, effectively reading from an internal script centuries old. Do you wish to pass through quarantine? What do I have to do to pass through quarantine? Allow me to inspect you carefully. If I judge you of no threatening infections or concealed rogue creations, I will unseal the door to the north so you may pass. Alright, please allow me to pass through quarantine. The creature looks at you carefully. It makes a low, soft humming noise. You don't feel anything, but you suspect some sort of ancient... Some magical augmentation is allowing the picture to analyze you in minute detail. Eventually, the noise stops. It says, I find no reason to impede your proj pro progress further. The exit door to it will open at your approach. What happened to this island? Why was it barred? I'm sorry, Cre Shaper. I am limited in the scope of my knowledge. When I was left here, I was given no further information or instructions. How long ago were you abandoned? I do not know. I spent all the time in hibernation. The decay of my internal organs indicate that the time was well over a century. I'm sorry, I cannot be more precise. Uh, how long has it been since someone came through here? You were the first since I was abandoned. Why was it? Why was Suga Island abandoned? I do not know. I know little of its purpose, but nothing of why I was left here for so long. What was the purpose of this island? Research. Not the most useful answer you could have hoped for. Alright, um... Are you all right? You've been here for a long time. I am functioning properly. I can still do what I was made to do. You don't mind waiting here for so long? I... I am functioning properly. I can still do what I was made to do. I was not made to have further thoughts. Alright, well, that is the end of the conversation. That is all for now. Thanks. Alright. And this is where I shall end it, everyone. I will all see you next time.